All right. Hey, everyone. So, I try to do a conclusion video about my 2021 330e plug-in hybrid BMW vehicle. is 3.2 liters of 100 kilometers and that is our year average and that is amazing so never mind the sports mode driving fast and do having all the fun stuff in the car that we still were we still achieved a yearly average of 3.3 liters per 100 kilometers and i think that is for a car like this that's awesome. Why did I buy a BMW? It's very simple. Kimberly, my partner, she is very environmental friendly. So for her, it was really essential to have some environmental friendly vehicle. So I'm a person, I like to drive, I like to have fun on a road. How do we balance this? How do we get speed and fun and the environmentalist in the person in one vehicle. Hey, the answer is right here. The 330E, it's a base model. I have no paddle shifters, I have no M badge and all of this crap on there, right? But yet, I still have over 300 foot pounds of torque and 288 horsepower. We're living in Canada in a cold climate. So having a plug-in hybrid to me made the most sense because best of both worlds I want to go on the highway I want to step on it I want to step on it I want to go long distance I just fuel up on a gas station and keep going I can do that in city driving the plug-in hybrid vehicle is awesome and we do mostly city driving we're going to work our distance to work one way is 12 kilometers so to work and back is 24 kilometers the plug-in hybrid on a 12 kilowatt hour battery has no problem to do the distance. And at 20 degrees Celsius plus, we'll be able to do the trip twice if we try very, very carefully. In the winter time, when it was minus 20 degrees out, I, could I, I couldn't do the trip even once on one charge. The worst case scenario at minus 30 or minus 25, anywhere in between there, worst mileage I got on the battery alone was about 15 to 16 kilometers. That's it. And the thing was dead. The battery was dead. So, now, weather gets better. And uh, so we, we did a lot of city driving yesterday. We did shopping and we went there. We did all these little errands in the city. So we actually squeezed out 50.1 kilometers out of a 12 kilowatt our battery, but you have to remember that we only can use 11 because it always keeps a little bit aside so you never be able to use the whole battery. So, hey, this is pretty, pretty good results and I'm very happy with the results. And I'm Kimberly, environmentalist, she's happy with it because when you, when you think about it, we use 3.2 liters of fuel average in a year after 23,000 kilometers driving. Wow. Don't tell me that any regular hybrid car can achieve that. I find the seats, they're good, but after riding three hours or four hours, then it comes a little bit uncomfortable. Not uncomfortable, but I think any car after three, four hours of driving, you kind of have enough of sitting. So, uh, but for my, I'm five foot 10, and for my height and size, the vehicle works perfect. The seats are perfect, and the way, the width of the seats, they fit my body perfectly. So if you're a little bigger, you're six foot or taller, and or you may be over 200 pounds, then I don't think the vehicle would work for you the same way, right? And then you need most likely the, the five series because the car is bigger and the seats are bigger. So the three series for us work just perfect. 
The negative is, I have to honestly say, I watch all these YouTube videos about BMW and about how disappointing the reliability is and all this. I, I, I understand that. I actually had a software glitch in my car in that one year, and um, but it's a software glitch. But it's a problem. I think what we depend too much on computers and too much on chips. We don't have the performance on the engine, just the hardware. It's too much software related. So hopefully BMW doesn't let me down. And great car so far.